Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and we're going berry picking today. So we're either going to get, we definitely are getting strawberries. There's also raspberries and cherries. So we will see what we get. My husband's putting the gas in. We're doing some stuff at the gas station. And we're heading on our way. So join us, okay? I can't cheers you. I have nothing right now. So join us. Okay, so, so far we have picked strawberries and raspberries. We're going to go pick cherries, but we came back to the car to sit for a few minutes. Needed some Coke Zero. And relax for a few minutes because it's a lot of work. And the strawberries really hurt your back. <laughs> Bending over. But we got a lot of strawberries. We got three, what are those, quarts? Pints? Quart? I don't know. Anyway, of raspberries. And... Yeah, so now we've got our bucket ready for cherries. They're sweet cherries, so we're gonna go get those. Um, I didn't get any video of the strawberries, kind of forgot about it. It was in the moment, they drop you off and it's like you just run and find a good spot, right? <laughs> so raspberries was a little better. There wasn't as many people picking the raspberries, so we'll see on the cherries. Cherries look like it should be pretty decent. Um, not a lot of people around and stuff. So, we're taking a break, say hi. Hi. <laughs> <sighs> It's a little warm. It wasn't that warm when we got here, but once you're doing all that, now it's starting to heat up a little bit and it's going to rain this afternoon, supposedly, so we'll see. Okay, we'll catch up with you in a minute. Okay, here are the sweet cherries. I'm getting them. We're getting there. Some good ones in there. Yeah, the redder ones. Yeah. Some here. Okay. I can't. It's hard to do this for you. Okay, you guys, so we're done. We're back home. Took a nap at the camper, and then now I'm home. <laughs> so I took the um, raspberries. We had three pints, or whatever those things are called. Uh, uh, were, I separated them out into baggies, and I froze most of them. Washed them, froze most. These I'm going to keep out because I want to do like just a... Jeez Louise. The child has not said a word in an hour. Um... I'm going to keep this out because I want to make a raspberry syrup later on in the week, but not right now because it only lasts about a week in the fridge and I want it for the weekend uh, for the 4th of July. So I'm keeping those in the fridge. They'll be fine. I'm going to do, um, I got some little strawberries. Like we have quite a few little ones that I'm going to pull out, clean up, and I'm going to put some of those in my husband's lunch tomorrow. I'm going to make a little uh, dip. So I thought I'd bring you along for that and then he can have that in his lunch because... He put in a lot of work, just like I did, and these are amazing. I've had too many already. But I'm also going to try and store some. Obviously, I have a lot. Um, unwashed, untouched, and mason jars in the fridge. We'll see. I don't know if I have a lot of room until I want to get to them. I don't know if I want to make jam, which I have strawberry jam downstairs already. I kind of want to make some type of a breakfast item out of some of these so I'm trying to decide what I want to do but in the meantime I will make the the dip to go with these and that way we can have some of that and um, I can put it in my husband's lunch and stuff so let's do that okay so I put one brick um, block eight ounce block of cream cheese in here it's softened so I put it in the microwave for 40 seconds threw that in you add in a little Stevia about half a cup or whatever sweetener you want to use. I don't care. Um, if you don't have these these uh, sugar-free Da Vinci syrups, you should get some. So we have this banana one. So this is kind of like a mimic low-carb uh, keto version of 
I think it's the marshmallow fluff dip that people use for fruit. Whatever. I don't know. I've never had it. But anyway, it's cream cheese. So I just add a little bit of the banana. My husband, he loves this. Loves this. So this will make him happy, especially if all, after all the hard work um, he spent helping me pick all these berries and stuff today. God bless his little soul. We did have a good time though. You just kind of beat it up. It helps that it's already softened, obviously. Um, this will last for days in the fridge, so it'll be in his lunch. I'll use it for that. Um, and we want to enjoy the berries the way they are, right? But I also kind of want to make some with them. I haven't decided. I don't think I'm going to can any of them, but... Oh my god, that shit is so good. This banana flavoring is the best. And you just need a little bit and it goes a long way. So I know you can't see it. Hold on. So there it is. As simple as that. And that is our dip. That's our fruit dip. Sugar-free keto fruit dip. It's easy. You can get this on Amazon. It's not hard to get. I guarantee there's all kinds of flavors. I have cherry, strawberry, um, a simple syrup, maple, orange, all kinds of flavors. I just buy them on there from Da Vinci and they're amazing. And they last me a long time, like a long time. I've had them for years, like a couple, probably at least a couple years on some of them. Okay, so I have these little cups with the lids. You know, you can get them at Gordon's or wherever or online. I think I get mine online. I'm just going to put some in a little cup for them. So this week. I swear I've spoiled him because he he's like, well, I'll give him fresh berries or something. He's like, well, there was no fruit dip. Yeah, you're right. I didn't make it. You're right. might keep a little for tonight so that gives me three it looks like mayo so we got to be careful um inside i just put this in a little dish and keep this for here for us to munch on at least he'll have three days of it and there was a lot of the little strawberries so that's kind of nice um That'll fit perfectly in like a little container for him. Try to clean him up. This stuff is so good. So good. Mmm. Yum. Okay, so see, he's got a little bit of the dip and a little bitty strawberries in here. Normally, if I had big strawberries, I would cut them in half and they'd be in slices and that's what he would get. But these are small enough and so stinking cute that we might as well use these. And so sweet. They are so good. So yay, a little lunch treat for him. So I put the rest of these in two of these containers from the fridge. I haven't washed them or anything yet because I'm trying to decide, zipper, trying to decide what I want to do with them. Um, I did cut up some more and put them in this little container to go with the rest of the dip. So we have that for snacks tonight or tomorrow, whatever. Um, so I have two big things of these and one of these jars that I'm gonna put a lid on and put in the fridge. And then the next day or two, I'll decide what I want to do if I want to make a breakfast or something like that with it. So, hopefully uh, this will inspire you. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that little subscribe button. It's free, people, to follow. See what else I'm going to be doing. Um, usually it's low-carb and keto-type recipes that I cook or little adventures that we go on. Um, yeah, so... I think in the next video, I'll decide what I want to do with the strawberries. Definitely got to decide what to do with all those cherries. But I got to pit them first. But they're sweet cherries. So, I'm so excited. I've already ate like five of them just doing stuff around the house. So anyway. <laughs> um, but I got to pit them and all that good stuff. And I don't know. They are just beautiful in that bucket. So, let me know. Hit thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Cheers.